Leaders from three political parties joined forces. They're hoping to challenge Zimbabwe's president, Robert Mugabe, when elections take place on July 31st. The parties have therefore agreed to a support and campaign for one presidential candidate, Morgan Richard Changirai, support each other in national assembly and local authority elections, constitute a genuine government of national unity after winning the elections. But news that Tsangirai's movement for democratic change is forming a coalition with the Mavambo Kusile Dawn and Zanu Ndonga parties makes Lakmo Mugombe nervous. And he doesn't want the elections to happen. Things are fine the way they are now. If Tsangirai wins, we don't know what will happen. If Mugabe wins, we still don't know what the future holds. No election, please. Others, like Arnold Chinyama, just want the polls over and done with, hoping after the uncertainty, the economy will improve. What we need is a one Zimbabwe, an inclusive Zimbabwe. That is something that is productive, and that is something that is tangible, that we can see and we can tell some other people that we have achieved this. Zimbabwe's Electoral Commission says it's ready for the election. Politicians have started campaigning ahead of polls at the end of the month and voter registration ends on Tuesday. Some election observers are already in the country. Opposition leaders say they have what it takes to beat President Mugabe's ZANU-PF party. But Mugabe, who's been in power since 1980, says this election will be a do-or-die struggle. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.